We need to turn right now back to the latest with the COVID outbreak, with cases now doubling every few days here in the U.S. Joining us now, Dean of the Brown University School of Public Health, Dr. Ajish Jha. And you tweeted ye yesterday, Dr. Jha, a message to city leaders. What will it look like if they close schools but leave bars this, open? This, this is a great question, doctor. What, this, was your, yeah. what was your point here and where do we stand with Omicron? Yeah, so first of all, thanks for having me back. Um, Omicron is spreading pretty rapidly across the country. Uh, it's probably a majority of infections in New York City now, but it will be a majority of infections in a, in a town or city near you. Uh, that's kind of what we're heading into as we head uh, fully into the holidays. What I'm hearing from school districts is already questions about going remote. Uh, I think it's irresponsible at this point to do that. Uh, we have all the tools to keep schools open and safe. Um, vaccinations, testing, uh, improvements in ventilation, tens of billions of dollars have gone to schools. And if I hear of a single school district that goes remote but keeps bars open, what that says to me is they don't care about kids and they don't care about COVID. Uh, because mm -hmm. bars spread COVID, schools generally don't, not if you put in mitigation efforts. And I'm worried that, that city leaders are going to give up on kids uh, and not do the right thing. Well, you know, uh, Doctor, we've been talking about the hypocrisy of, of, of what we see in New York City all the time, what we see in other cities all the time. You keep the bars open. You keep the restaurants open. You keep all, every sporting event open. You keep clubs open. Uh, bands are playing to, to packed clubs with people packed in like sardines. Uh, and again, I'm not complaining. I, I think we have to reopen. Uh, but the idea, I, you know, during COVID uh, in, in, in Nevada, they, they were shutting down church services, but the casinos were open. There is an inconsistency here. And I, 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 love, I, I love what you're, you're, you're saying here because we have to learn to live with it and we, we certainly have to protect our children, especially their mental health and their learning. This is, this is absolutely critical, isn't it? It is. And the good news is we know how to do it. So people who think that somehow I'm doing a trade-off between COVID and mental health, no. Um, this is not March of 2020, right? We've got all of these tools and these capabilities. Uh, the government has done a very good job of making these things widely available. Uh, again, I wish we had more testing. That's the one place where I still think mm -hmm. the administration needs to do more. Uh, but the bottom line is that, that these tools are here. We have them. Let's just deploy them. Let's use them. I, I, in our public school district where I live, where my kids go to school, uh, we've had very little in the way of outbreaks because we're using mitigation efforts. We're asking kids to mask up, teachers to mask up. We're using testing. Almost everybody's vaccinated. Let's go. Like, let's keep going and keep kids in school. So are we at the point where we can say for those who are boosted and wear a mask and use the proper mitigation techniques, um, are they safe from Omicron? Is Omicron as simple as the flu to them? Yeah, actually. So the question is, what do you mean by safe, Mika, right? And the question is, are, might right. you get an infection? Yeah, you might get an infection. Yeah. Um, is it as bad as the flu? Actually, I think if you're boosted, this is going to be milder than the flu. I think if when we mm -hmm. get done with Omicron and we look at what happened to people who were boosted, some chunk of them will get infected. It'll end up being more like a bad cold. Um, obviously, for unvaccinated people, it's a totally different equation. Uh, but for vaccinated and particularly boosted people, uh, I think Omicron will cause lots of infections, but it will not cause serious problems. All right. Dean of the Brown University School of Public Health, Dr. Ajit Shah, thank you so much. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.